Welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection video and today basically I'm just going to be talking about some updates that Aspire have given and some kind of opinions on the game itself that I've had from my personal point of view. I've played this game for I think about 15 to 20 hours since release. Today is the Monday the 25th of March so it's been out for about 10 days now. 11 days I think and we've had a release statement from Aspire with a new update coming out and um, that's already come out for PC already so that's already fixed some issues and made the game a little bit more playable but for some reason it's still not out on PlayStation or Xbox I don't think it's on Xbox but as you can see from the screen right here Kit Fisto's lightsaber is absolutely stupid uh, how can you think that that's a good idea to put that in the game? I don't really understand why that's a thing. Have they not even realised it? Is it just lack of playtesting? I have absolutely no idea. But I'm going to go through some patch notes today. They've gone through a couple of nerfs, a couple of buffs, some server fixing, I think, just audio fixing in general. Because as you probably realised, I thought I was actually wearing my headset the wrong way around. But it's actually them that's the problem. They actually had the audio issues where you would think someone's in front of you, but they're actually behind you or someone is shooting to the left so you look to the left and you get killed from behind it's because they completely mirrored the audio directions in this game so it's kind of dumb again how companies nowadays really do this or manage to get away with doing this without play testing before release or were they just not given enough time i don't really know i'm not sure why they've done it but either way i think this game is still fun I've put a decent amount of hours as I've said, it's still quite fun. I've just been playing the EA version and to be honest that game is so much more fun. I've had way more enjoyment playing that game. So I'm not going to go through all of the patch notes here, there's no real point in doing all that because I would just bore you to death. But they will go through some of the notable ones, the ones that actually really matter to be honest. So when you click on quick match if you go on multiplayer on Battlefront 1 and 2, sometimes they send you into password lock games. I mean that's useless isn't it because you just want to go and play a game. So they've got rid of that. So they've fixed the invert Y axis option so you can actually change whether you want to be inverted or normal when you're using the spaceships which is actually a really really good thing because I don't like inverted controls. I feel like a lot of people do but I actually hate it. I really don't want to do it myself so I'm really glad they've done that. So they just fixed a lot of the texture issues Um I could imagine they've probably fixed a lot of these. They completely redid the game using AI so I mean they've probably not even looked through all the details themselves. They were like yep yeah, AI that's done. That's good let's just upload that done. So they fixed the Battlefront 1 loading screen sounds. I mean come on seriously how does it go from this iconic sound? To then this today. They've also fixed on Battlefront 2, they fixed the music to play on several maps in the Hero Assault mode. So as you can see in the background here, it's basically Heroes vs Villains from the new EA game. But basically, from the background noise, you can hear the cantina music being played. And sometimes it just stops and it completely cuts the audio from the game and you're playing in silence. It's really strange, I don't really know why it does that to be honest. They've also fixed the blaster sound effects for some of the hero character weapons to play in the correct volume. So occasionally sometimes you'd shoot a gun and it would either be really loud or just non-existent at all. But one of the biggest ones is from this clip on screen here you can literally see how overpowered Asajj Ventress actually is. I took on like 5 heroes and barely took any of the damage at all so it's pretty pretty big and that one is pretty huge as well because she is overpowered as hell. And Kit Fisto lightsaber, why they didn't do that in the first place I will never know but they're fixing it so to be honest I'm quite glad with that, I don't mind that at all. But I'm not sure when it will come because apparently they need to wait for it to be approved or something on consoles. I don't know because we're still waiting and it's Monday the 25th so I'm not sure when that's going to come through. Yeah just looking at that this came through seven days ago. So this came through on the 18th so last Monday. I can't believe that's still not come through on the consoles. If someone can tell me why I don't understand why this is a thing or why they've not actually brought it through yet but we're still waiting. 
Of course, I'll leave a link in the description down below to the webpage that actually has all of these patch notes on it. It's on Aspire's support website, so it's all there to be read for everyone to see. And I really, really hope that they actually start to fix this game. Because to be honest, I've actually enjoyed it. I've quite enjoyed my time playing this game. Obviously, as everyone else is the same as I am, I really wanted to play it online. And there are glimpses of the online being actually quite good. So I'm just praying because at the moment, it seems to be okay. Okay, but the hit registration is still very very bad and it also feels like some of the balancing with the different characters and classes that you can choose in the game seem to be completely unfair so for example on the Imperial side the Jet Trooper in my opinion is the best character in the entire game purely because you can jump around a map you can go everywhere and when it has that zap thing if you do a forwards roll it completely refreshes it straight away I'll show you a clip on screen right here of me sniping some people. I hit some pretty good snipes that actually definitely hit the player and you can see they flinch. But at the top of the screen, the health doesn't go down. I shot a Wookiee Warrior like four or five times and it didn't die. This is in the upper chest area, so I'm not sure why it didn't die or how, but I think it's just because the online hit registration is pretty bad. The offline experience though, can't complain. It's absolutely fine. It works very, very well. It works as it should but the online is just the issue here. So at the moment, if you try and find an online game in Battlefront 2 specifically, there are about 50 people online. Um, there is only really one, maybe two servers that you can actually connect to that have a decent connection, and that is the Aspire dedicated servers. Uh, apart from that, every other server seems to have about between one and about four people playing. So it's completely unplayable otherwise. And it's actually quite sad to see, to be honest, because this game had so much potential and the hype was absolutely real. I fell for the hype train. I jumped on the bandwagon and bought the game straight away. They really did tug on my nostalgia heartstrings and I fell for it. And annoyingly, I'm gutted. I'm so gutted because this game was such a huge part of my childhood and for some reason, they just happen to mess it up and I don't know how they've done that. If they do manage to fix this, I would definitely come back and play this game. But because of the absolute mess of release of the online servers, it's kind of inexcusable at this point because the amount of people who have refunded the game or just stopped playing in general, uninstalled it, anything else like that, it's just a bit sad to see. But I'm going to continue playing it. I'm going to hope that this update comes out and actually fixes the game because it has to. We're in 2024. We have all the support we need to get these online servers on. There isn't really an excuse. It's just money grabbing. And I don't think there's any other way to describe it. That is literally it, I think. As always, if you did enjoy the video, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, that would be much appreciated. If you did actually somehow make it this far in the video, I don't know if anybody does, but if you did, leave a comment saying saying Kit Fisto is dumb. Go on, why not? Do that. And I'm trying to figure out how to get this video up to eight minutes so we can get the ad mid rolls. So cheers guys. Yeah, I'm going to wait till the video ends and then we can finish the video and then come off and then I can go about and enjoy my day and so can you. And yeah. Okay then. All right, bye.